whispers on these humming things. But um, <clears throat> that ball didn't come in. They circled around us up on the mountain. Dan's over there, so hopefully some good luck. But wasn't that a nice bull that uh, um, Scott Potter got yesterday? Really nice bull. Um, so we're been surrounded by elk. We've only I've only been here two days. They've been here three. Elk every day. Got one yesterday. We're just hoping for one more today. We're hunting out of the Mitchell camp. It's um, you know, it's available to anybody to rent. It's uh, and Montrose. We're in Telluride, like I said today, but it's a short drive over to a great area. We were here on a Sunday late season we saw two hunters that was it and there's thousands of acres so if anybody wants to rent that metro camp check it out on the website under camp rentals it's an awesome camp i'll give you um, um, more video of the camp when we get back later pretty cool all right we're here in the big bowl up above telluride area 70 John and I just snuck up to a group of about 30 bulls, three or four spike horns and all cows. So we're just going to relax here in the sun, have a little lunch, might even have a nap or two. Hunted it high this morning. Now we're trying to come back down below the bull. And the tricky thing is there's only one way to get down here without going off the end of a cliff, so you got to read the maps carefully. And we think we just found it, so we're pretty happy. We're going down side hill now. Hopefully we'll be on flat ground in a little while. I'm in this uh, meadow, closer, you know, uh, down down the hill. Dan's up there, and uh, I'm down here. Um, these are long days. I mean, we get up uh, three o'clock, get breakfast, get on the road, and then. Uh, just explore this mountain. We've got a couple of, well, probably about an hour left of light. So anything can happen. Okay guys, right over there was our, where I was sitting in that uh, broken down big old Aspen. Sorry for the shaking because look right there. Look right there. My first elk, baby. Sorry for the shaking. Oh. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> It's him, eh? He's a 4x4 four four too. He's just old and beat up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Baby. <laughs> nice job, John Hill. Calls him in and everything. Oh, Way there we go. are. Night fall in the mountains. You can see in the background, we got a beautiful lit mountain, but even better is in the foreground a smiling Johnny Hill with uh, his first bull from Colorado. He called it in. 
uh, twice, no less. I'll let him tell you, John, what ha how, what happened on your end? Oh, it was just a fantastic hunt. I think on the video, you're going to hear the call. Um, and then we had this guy come in with his girls. The girls were ahead of him coming down. I turned, and Dan was on the radio. I said, he's right in front of you. I looked, and he was probably 60 yards, maybe. And uh, they went in me and turned and, and left. Um, and Dan is a good guy. Said, uh, call again, call again. So I hit the old tube, and... Um, and that thing is awesome. He couldn't stand it. Came back and uh, they came close. The girls got nervous again. As soon as the first girl turned, he started to turn his neck. So I had to take a little quartering too, which I don't like to do with the bow, but with that 30 out six, one shot. And he went what? From the shot to here, 50 yards? Yeah, if that, maybe 30. <laughs> so uh, we we're so stoked. Hunting out of uh, Mitchell Camp, Dan Christmas special. This is awesome, man. <laughs> Well, here we are back at the old Mitchell camp, and I uh, want to get a word with Scott Potter, who shot the uh, really nice elk on the first day, so we'll talk to him. Well, we're back here at the Mitchell camp with Scott, our first successful hunter of the week. Scott, tell us a little a bit about your hunt. Well, it was Sunday morning, and we left here about 3.30 to go to Telluride, and we got in there a little late. It was getting late when John, Jert, and I walked down what they call a hello, I guess. Um, Jert took off, and John and I went to one of the fingers. John got up in a barricade there, and I went to the next one, and I got about halfway, and I could see two cow elk and two bulls, I thought, so I kind of snuck around the hill and got up on the finger, and I had to belly crawl up to the barricade, and then I looked down, and there's two bulls fighting. One was a 4x3, and the other was a 3x3, three three. and took about a 300-yard shot, and shot a couple more times, and finally got my bull, and John and Jerry came over to help me pack it out. It was a great hunt, and I want to thank John, Jared, Mark, and Dan. Yeah, boy, at its best. How's hunting going? Great. Jared? Great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What all you done? You've been uh, Telluride, Area 61? Yep. Or 62? Right on the edge? Right on the edge. Yep. Living on the edge, too. Some? Mark, how's the hunting going? Awesome. Yeah, have a good time. a lot of animals. Great trip. Awesome. Well, here we are. We just made our way from the Mitchell camp over to the Horsefly Mesa camp. Uh, we're in Area 61 right now, which, if you're fortunate enough to draw a tag, is probably one of the best areas in Colorado to uh, hunt elk. Uh, myself and Dan, Jared Kaiser, we were here last evening. Uh, had three bull elk bugling down behind the camp. Um, great camp. Uh, I think. We have it for sale right now, don't we, John? Mm -hmm. And uh, for anybody interested, you can click on our website. We also uh, use this as a rental property under Camp Rentals. Heading out, you know. Don't want to leave. Heading back to New York. Heading back to New York. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to go home. What a great hunt. What a great time. 